Hey guys, today we're gonna go back in time and take a look at one of my old swimming races. If you don't know who I am, I'm Michael Chong and I've started swimming since the age of four and started training at, um, in primary three, so around the age of eight. And I've done competitive swimming for more or less 10 years, so I think I know what I'm talking about. And the race I picked for today is the four times 50 meter freestyle relay back in the 2018 Hong Kong Division One Interschool Swimming Competition. And this is, uh, this was actually my last race representing my secondary school, Wyan College Kowloon, because at the time I was in my final year of secondary school, I was a form six student. So I definitely remember this race to this day, quite an emotional one. So what better to start with than, you know, such a race. Um, everyone could benefit from a bit of self critiquing, which is what I'll be doing now, going over my race, looking at my strokes, how I executed my race plan. So I don't think you have to be a Michael Andrew or a Caleb Dresso to, have, to be able to do this. Uh, you know, people like you and I can still do like race analysis and we could still benefit from it. So um, I'm just gonna put on my trusty old glasses, turn the lats over and I will play. Uh, so I'm over in lane seven, this is me. Just, you know, doing my pre-game routine thing. And I'm you, you see me putting my hand over my chest, over my heart because I wanted to remember like how nervous I was feeling. Basically, I wanted to remember every detail how I felt uh, during this last race for my secondary school. Quite emotional. So my race plan for this uh, is to take four underwater dolphin kicks. And then after that, uh, after my first eight strokes, I'll take a breath. And then every four strokes after that, I'll take a breath. Going into this race a year before that, I've stopped training for an entire year because I've started you know, taking tutorial classes. I've stopped swimming training, so I was pretty out of shape. One, two, three, four. Okay, first breath. Okay. Uh, I took 40 strokes to get to the other end of the pool, and I'm actually not going to play this entire race because basically our, our school lo lost really badly. Um, yeah, I'll fast forward it a bit. Okay, so here's our guy right here, Oscar. Um, and yeah, we basically got beat like really bad because I was already the fastest guy on the team. And then, you know, my teammates were slower than I am. But then the competitors, they, you know, their entire team was stronger than ours, basically. So yeah, the, you, even the camera couldn't capture us. We still weren't in here. Yeah, we're back here. So yeah, I'm going to skip. <laughs> The rest of the race, uh, we basically got last in the heats. Uh, that year, the freestyle relay team, we didn't, you know, include the strongest guys there. The strongest guys were in the other team, the medley relay team, and you know, I was the uh, only like I was the only person that could swim a 26 something. Um, so yeah, I got a 260102, 2601, 2602 in this race, uh, and that was my actually my fastest long course 50 meter freestyle uh i've ever done i've i've swam a i've got a 25 25 25 probably 25 to 5 25 25 in a short course 50 meter freestyle um but that that was for my you know my school teams my university hong kong baptist university swimming teams trials uh, but that was a short course race short course 50 meter freestyle this was a long course this was basically up until now, uh, my record, my 50 meter long course record. So here's another angle. All the footage you're seeing right now is actually from, uh, I think, Apple Daily and then from then LaSalle College. LaSalle College uh, is basically this really good school in Hong Kong. Uh, it's actually the school my cousin goes to. And uh, yeah, every year in basically any sports comp uh, inner school competition, it's basically a race between LaSalle College and Diocesan Boys School. So it's the same for swimming, uh, but diocesan boys school basically wins every time because they're they have so many good like athletes. Uh, so here I am. I'm just gonna. T this angle actually shows a better look uh, at my dive, which I'm, I'll be going over. So look at this, going frame by frame, which is what uh, Caleb Dressel does, because my dive right here was terrible. 
You know, look at look at the splash. Look at the splash. I'm at this point, my chest is already like going into the water. So you know, I'm gonna be making a splash. Literally making a splash, um, because you know my chest has already you know basically really you know went came into contact with the surface of the water, and the rest of my lower body, my legs, and everything. You know, one big splash. It's like that. Um, hopefully that's not too loud. Uh, but basically, you want to be entering the water in one hole. You want to minimize the splash you make by entering into the water in one hole. Uh, actually, Caleb Dress also talks about this. Uh, in like diving, you don't really want to be going as far as you want. The goal is not to go like as far as you can, jump as far as you can from the dive, from the blocks. No, it's actually to minimize the splash you make. So even if you can't jump like as far as you to like your highest like basically jump to a further distance what you want to be doing in, instead is to actually try to like prioritize jumping into the water entering the water in one hole so that you minimize that splash and like lane six does a really fantastic job of like jumping into the water entering the water in one hole like he makes a really small splash compared to what like what i'm doing here right now it's terrible it's white white water everywhere um yeah but lane six did a really good job and uh yeah i just checked and a lane four lane four flopped their dive i don't think he meant to do this but his low look at his his legs were not like clapped clasped together and so yeah look at him his legs he was like this 90 degree you know his legs are gonna slam into the water and make this really huge splash as well he was a good, you know, he was way faster than I was, but it, his dive was probably even worse than I was. But, you know, I couldn't really criticize other people because, you know, I didn't do too well myself either. And, uh, yeah, I'll play through the entire race with this angle. So, the dive. So, eight strokes, my first breath. And then every four strokes, two, three, four, yeah. Three, four. I breathe on the left hand side. I used to breathe on the right, but um, I changed it to the left because I want to balance out my like muscle imbalances. So 40 strokes. And one thing I want to talk about here as well is that uh, in freestyle, you want to be taking a full stroke with your last stroke. Uh, so th I think that's what I did here, which is good. So my last stroke was on my left arm. You want to be swinging through and then, you know, touching. You want to be like rotating your shoulder and then your arm touching it. You don't want to be taking a half stroke. For example, like right here, after my right arm, my left arm, uh, my last stroke, I don't want to be taking like suddenly a, or I should be saying like my left arm, and I, I, I did the right thing by sliding into the wall with my left arm. What I shouldn't do is to, you know, basically take my left stroke and then take an extra half stroke because I want to touch the wall with your right with my right arm that's not good that's gonna take cost you an extra point one point two second uh, add a point two point two point one point two second to your race to your time so uh, you don't want to do that you want to be taking a complete full stroke swinging it through uh, into the wall and you know rotating your shoulder and then touching the wall um, like that so um, yeah that was good I'll let you watch my finish. Bam, bam, like that. I slide, I sl like slide it into the wall. Slide it, I don't know if that's a word. Um, yeah, I like finished with a complete stroke with my uh, left arm swinging through, rotating my body and rotating my shoulder and then, you know, touching the wall. So um, yeah, uh, one thing, one more thing I wanna talk about is uh, basically, I think I've talked about this, is my biggest weakness. My biggest weakness is my stroke. Uh, compar comparatively with my kick, my, my pulling is way worse. Uh, my stroke rate is really like low. And in a 50 meter freestyle or backstroke race, you really wanna be trying to swing your arms as fast as possible because especially with freestyle and backstroke, they're more like, uh, pull oriented stroke they're more they're more focused on the pulling uh, you want to really want to be increasing your stroke rate like swinging your arms really fast uh, but then uh, I'm more of uh, I'm comparatively a better kicker and ever since the age of eight uh, I've always been bad at pulling to the point where uh, basically in training I'll be slower than even some of the girls so that's how my how bad my pulling was um, 
but my kicking has always been my strength and my pulling my weakness so yeah compared to see with lane six here look at how compare like the stroke rate between the two of us so look at me first one 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 and already uh at this point i'll rewind it a bit and look at lane six look at how fast how how much faster his arms were spinning and you know to the end of, of the race my stroke rate like further decreased because i was fatiguing i was i was out of shape basically i could i, I still remember the last 15 meter of the race uh, i was bas basically struggling to finish the race i was so out of shape i was fatigued uh in the last 15 meters of the race so yeah that affected me as well but to start with in the first like after like my underwater dolphin kicks my stroke rate my stroke rate was low to begin with compared with with the other guys because yeah look at how fast lane six is spinning his arms and the other lanes as well i'm much slower compared with them and uh my kick i think because i was fatiguing as well it's it's sort of starting to die down here uh you see lane six still going really strong with her kick i'm dying at this point really hurting yeah so um I think that's the race and uh, I think one more look at this angle because this angle gives gives you a really good look at how slow my arms comparatively is with my opponents like look at this really like high stroke rate with mine especially in the last 15 meters when I was dying um, it was bad I'm starting to really cramp up, uh, slow down. One last quick thing, uh, this angle basically, my start again. Uh, this is actually I think a good thing. Uh, Caleb Dressel talked about this. Basically with your freestyle, like your starts, aside from your backstroke start, which you start like right here below the platform, holding onto this thing. But with other dives uh, on the blocks, basically you want to have your arms tucked in. Tucked in, by tucking in, uh, I mean this basically. Like after they say take your marks, right here. You see my arms like mildly tucked in. I'm not holding onto the platform with completely straight arms. I'm holding on with like this light bend ang bent angle in my like arm. And that's what you want to be doing because when you actually take off from the blocks, uh, you'll, you'll actually be doing that. Uh, you'll actually be like locking your, an locking your arms uh, like your elbow, locking your elbow, that's what I want to talk about. Uh, you, you'll be locking your elbow when you start. When you push off the, from the blocks, your, your back leg right here pushes off. Your entire body, you know, pushes off at, uh, at the same time. And so your arms will be basically, if you lock, lock your elbows, then you can directly push off, start to use force from there. But uh, look at lane six. This is, I think, one thing I think uh, I should be pointing out. Uh, his arms are like completely straight, you know, compared with uh, mine a second ago, you know, I was in locked, this locked elbow, but he had like completely straight arms. And that's actually, I don't think that's what you should be doing. Um, because notice after taker marks, when he really has to go from the blocks, like right here, when he dives, uh, basically, you know, he has to lock his elbows again. So if you know you're going to be locking your elbows uh, later on, why don't you do that from the start rather than like having it to like locking it when they say go and then you have to lock it. So that costs you an extra 0.1.2 second. Um, but I think uh, what I think this guy might be doing instead is he really isn't. I, I, I don't know because I'm not him, but I suppose he's not really engaging his arms in the, his dive because yeah. Well, he's still, because you want to be with your arms, like really push off from the blocks. Um, I suppose he did, but you know, he, cause he locked his ankles, his elbows right here. And yeah, that costed him an extra second. Uh, like after they say start and then you start to lock your elbows. So why don't you do that at the start? But, uh, there's also one more, one last thing really to talk about is my, it's one of my habits. I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. But basically, I have this habit of like when they say take your marks. I'll rewind a bit. Okay, 
this is where they said. So here is when they said, take your marks. And I will start to pull back. And I think uh, I pulled back because I really wanted to maximize the force I could generate by like pulling myself. I don't know how to really express this, but pulling myself from the blocks and then using my back leg to push off as well. But I think I might have done it like over aggressively. Uh, I don't think you really want to pull back that much. Uh, a bit would be okay, but like what I'm doing here right now, like from this body position, take your marks. I'll be pulling it like this, like this for this far back. Yeah. And I think uh, my head, my head shouldn't be like looking uh, ahead, I guess. I don't know. I, I guess I tried to jump too far ahead and that's why I make this really huge splash. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I tried to jump maybe too far. I could like minimize the distance I tried to jump, but like uh, enter the water in one hole. So my dive could have been better. But I think that's all I want to talk about in this race. I think I enjoyed it. I, I learned I learned from like reflecting on my races. I've actually been putting off doing this thing for quite uh, a while because uh, I don't really know how to properly sync up the like the, the A-roll of myself talking to the camera right now and also like the screen recording here. So hopefully that goes well in the editing. But um, overall, I think it was enjoyable. Uh, hopefully you find it you enjoyed it as well. If you did, um, drop that, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, peace.